this sounds like hella drama okay, right now. So, yeah, let's try and get through this pretty quick because we are now at 56. Yeah. <laughs> um, we love a good long podcast yeah. <laughs> so this one a bit of drama yeah. um, mm. this is uh, Tom King versus Comicsgate versus Jay Lee versus <laughs> Tom King versus the comic <laughs> community right so my brother told me what Comicsgate was the other day but I completely forgot please explain right, so Comicsgate is a, a movement uh, involving several comic creators uh, and fans who have spoken out against what they feel is forced diversity and social reform in the modern comic book industry <laughs> <laughs> um, the, mov- the movement has developed its own community with former DC exclusive creator even Van Skyver being one of the loudest voices um the comics so basically um so yeah it's a bunch of people who have uh very right-wing opinions about people um apparently they've like you know they've they're really bad people anyway i've uh, Mm -hmm. there's a couple of um youtube videos or youtube accounts that i used to follow and i'm like no i can't deal with this because it's it's just too much hate they never talk about anything good um, so basically, mm-hmm. Tom King he's doing a new comic uh, with, uh, a, with a cover done by Jay Lee, um, and mm-hmm. basically the comic is um, Rorschach issue one. So mm-hmm. it's a new comic, uh, Watchmen comic with Rorschach. Oh, okay. um, Jay mm-hmm. Lee did the. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Real quick, uh, new Rorschach or original? Well, we Rorschach? don't know yet. That's the that's a that's mm. that needs to be answered. <laughs> um, so Jay Lee did the cover. And um, basically, uh, I think Jay Lee did a cover, a variant cover for e- Van, for Ethan Van Skyver's self-published um, one-shot Cyborg Frog, um, which mm-hmm. obviously Eve, Ethan Van Skyver is part of the Comics Gate. So, uh, mm-hmm. so basically, Tom King tweeted uh, today. DC put out an alternate cover to Rorschach by Jim Lee, uh, Jay Lee. I knew I was going to get mm-hmm. that. Get to get that. <laughs> um, uh, who has also done covers for Comets Gate, the Hate Group. Uh, DC does not consult creators on alternate alternate covers. I reached out to them to express my deep disappointment. Far as I'm concerned, this is the cover to Rorschach issue one. Um, so uh and then he he tweeted i spoke with jay lee he's not on twitter didn't know comics gate existed and doesn't support hate mm-hmm. of any kind we're all good best possible outcome mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. so then <laughs> jay lee so this one's a pretty harsh one like i read it and i was like mm-hmm. damn this is this is kind of harsh i know but, i was hoping he was talking about his dog or something i was like oh no yeah. that's kind of bad so yeah, go two weeks mm-hmm. ago june and i took loki to san diego to see a specialist he did not survive due to complications so basically uh, loki was his dog uh, due to complications Aww. from the surgery this past friday was supposed to be the day of mourning we were back in san diego to pick up his ashes we were going to take him to the beach uh, i'm getting some feedback mm-hmm. from someone Oh yeah. Oh, it's gone. is it me? Yeah, it's gone now. Um, okay, good. <laughs> uh, we were going to take him to the beach and con- con- uh, comfort each other by sharing our favourite stories about our little boy. Mm. Instead, a part of the internet I avoid, like the play, came brink barging in. I had com- companies I'm working for calling me, friends reaching out to me. I'm seeing hate pouring out of, str- out of strangers' mouths, accusing me of things I have no knowledge of. I'm seeing firsthand how fast lies are spreading. Let me be clear, I'm not part of any group. We we never made it to the to the beach. We spent the entire six hour drive back home on an emotional roller coaster. I'm writing this because I'm angry. These irresponsible tweets are not harmless. They do not go, just uh, these irresponsible tweets are not harmless. They do not just go away. They have real world consequences. They can take away your job, your life, your memories. June and I were robbed of a special day, so no, we are not all good. So that was actually ooh. to, uh, yeah, to Tom, Tom King. King. Ooh, um, damn. Right. So, hang on a sec. I'm, so the way my brother explained Comics Gate to me, well, it was only yeah. brief, is that, is that artists, writers, whatever, are basically um, 
have had enough of like the execs basically telling them what to do, which I thought was basically like what we were talking about earlier. I thought that's what it is. So am I wrong? No, nah, well, like not really. Um, <laughs> let me just quickly finish this, uh, what you said. So uh, this isn't the start of a conversation. This is the end. So please don't drag me into a world I never wanted to be part of, nor will I ever want to be part of. I want to honor Loki to, to by going back to producing art made with love for people who enjoy it for what it is, something that hopefully brings joy into their lives. Mummy and Daddy miss you so so very much, Loki, I love. So, yeah, basically, Com- Comscape <coughs> is, uh, from what I understand anyway, is basically like when when um, Marvel did all, all new, all different Marvel, you've got... Um, you've got Li- Lady Riri uh, Williams or- being... Yeah, yeah, Lady Four. You got Miles being Spider Man. You got the kid. That's when we got uh, Amadeus, Amadeus Cho. Cho. Yeah. So basically, uh, and now you've got like Iceman being gay, and basically they these are the mm. guys who are against the um, just basically what's happened now, like people deliberately making stuff like a black character just because there's a lot of. Just to... There's a lot of yeah. things going on with yeah. black characters, and there's no diversity, so they're trying mm. to do diversity. Um, and mm. yeah, just like even with like female cre- creators as well, like writers and artists, mm. they'll they'll some of them would write nasty things about them. Um, mm. Yeah, so it's yeah they, they yeah they're not really nice people. Like I said, there's 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 a YouTube I used to follow, and it and. Mm. They just never ever talk about anything good, never ever. Yeah. Uh, so it's... yeah, they could have done that. They could have gone about it a different way. They could have been like, "Look, we're sick and tired of the the industry forcing it on characters who have, yeah. you know, what I mean, have been around a plethora of time, rather than just like we've been saying for ages, like just bring new in characters. people who have, yeah, new characters or people who've done their own comics yeah. from mm. their own." gender from their own you know what i mean from their own you know orientation orientation yeah, you know what yeah. i mean or religion there's loads of comic book creators animation creators who are just doing that kind of work yeah. you know what i mean so just bring them into the universe or create a new universe for people to have that don't just suddenly turn around and ice man who's been banging chicks for like the last 50 years and he's like oh okay so he's gay yeah no yeah like it's just <laughs> it doesn't make any sense you know what i mean so yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, he. Um, so uh, Jay Lee, obviously, because so basically they've all gone to do their own stuff. They're they're create create their own stuff, um, and I think. Well, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure about that, so I won't talk about that. But then, um, mm-hmm. so obviously Jay Lee must have done a cover for 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 Ethan Van Skyver comics and not realised okay. what, what it was. So. Uh, Tom King uh, got back and says, as I have done privately, I'd like to publicly apologize to Jay Lee for my actions a few days ago. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't, I should have mm-hmm. talked with Jay before I sent a tweet about him that put his career at risk. Mm-hmm. I made a critical mistake and I'm profoundly sorry. I will do what I can to repair this with Jay and I will do better in the future. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to offer explanations because they sound like excuses. And I'm not asking for forgiveness uh-huh. or understanding. I'm just saying I see what I did, and I'm going to try and make it up, for, uh, make up for it. Thank you. I have kept up the tweets up to, uh, up until this point in order to show that I was not hiding my actions. I will now take them down. Uh-huh. So okay, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, and that's the mm-hmm. thing. This is the kind of stuff that they do. Like they, they. This is the mm. kind of thing they would love to talk about. They'll they'll be mm. on for hours talking about this. So yeah. Okay, yeah, that's just an unfortunate situation. Yeah. It's just like, right, okay, wires got crossed. Next time, don't tweet about your business, just talk first that's and it. then tweet about it. I mean, <laughs> that's, the, that's the culture these days, though. When people have a problem with something, they just go straight to Twitter. Twitter. I know, yeah, I, I, like... I, 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 I'm on Instagram, and Instagram can be pretty rough, but like, mm. it's like Facebook is like the suburbs. Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. Instagram is like middle class. Yeah. Snapchat is, is the... Snapchat is a strip club. Yeah. And <laughs> and it's like Twitter is just like rough. Yeah, Diagon rough. Alley, like and then <laughs> Twitter by yourself. Make sure you got backup. Kind of you know what I mean? I, yeah. I'm not I don't I don't even go on Twitter. Like I don't have to. I just think every time I just 
like I said, that's the culture. People are just so quick to, if they have a problem. I've heard of people in relate, like in real life, breaking up. Mm-hmm. Like boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, just breaking up over bull crap on the inter- on on their on their yeah. their page. Yeah, I just don't have the patience for that, man. Nah, if, and if me- I have a problem with you, I'm gonna bring it to you. I'm not gonna like and to you. I'm not coming to your to your page. To your page, you yeah. You, you could be busy. It's just like yeah. like like this guy, um, J J Lee. He's 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 on he's on the way to the beach. He ain't thinking about yeah. twelve. It's yeah, like, exactly. And um, no, I just. Nah. Yeah, if you've got as problem, the, people, just general, talk. Hmm. As for the subjects in general, I agree that I feel like a lot of this stuff has been forced down mm-hmm. our foot. It has been forced. And I'm not being biased with, like, Iceman being gay. I wasn't happy that Iceman was gay because one of the things I liked about him is I'm a little kid who wants, who wants to learn how to talk to girls. Yeah. One of my favourite superheroes knows how to talk to girls. So that's how yeah. I looked at it. Him and yeah. Johnny Storm were, like, the ones that did that. Yeah, gift of the gap. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, having said that, so so yeah, I, I had a problem with him being gay. I felt like why couldn't they just introduce a gay character? A new gay character. But again, mm. I'm not biased because when uh Wally West, when mm-hmm. when DC did the new 52, everyone's asking, where's Wally West? Where's Wally West? Now Wally West is my favorite flash. Mm. It goes on about Barry uh, Barry Allen. I'm I'm all about Wally West. They brought him in and they made him black. And I was like, why the f*** would they do that? <laughs> yeah. Why not just write in a black flash? A flash yeah. just have black, sorry. There you go. And I remember I got into this thing online with some guy. He just couldn't understand that all I was saying was, he's all calling me names. I'm like, you're a... It's... New characters. Bring in new characters. It's not yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. These people are creators. They probably got tons of ideas that they would love to put out there. Give Thank them you. the opportunity to... Give them the opportunity to create. Just stop telling them what they have to do. If you yeah. want a gay character, if you want a... Um, like, that that would be like... Um, who have I got up there? Black Cat from Spider-Man, yeah? Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, she's like, you know what? I've been a man. I feel like I've, I've been a man. Uh, uh, well, like, yeah. Well, and no, then they put in the comic. Don't do that. Yeah. Introduce a character. Yeah. yeah. So, introduce yeah. a character. Yeah. Like, again, I've, I've got no problem with like a trans character or a gay character or obviously black characters or whatever, be it, or ch- Asian, whatever, being in these things, but just mm. introduce new ones. I would love new characters. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. how many Spider Men are there? Yeah, there's loads, so many. There's loads. There's yeah, there's I mean, so Spider Characters. We've got you, a multi yeah. you know I mean? yeah, now Spider Verse. If you want a gay Spider Man, just Earth sixteen ten or whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Bring in a trans Spider Man. It's just there alternate realities. Yeah. Yeah. It's not hard. Oh, dear. I get that the world is changing. So everybody wants representation from X, Y, and Z. That's fine. Mm. I get it. But you I don't feel like man, I'm ranting. Yeah, yeah. go ahead, most- go ahead. <laughs> But change properly is what you're yeah, saying. Just yeah. like yeah. change with, with change with inclusion, not like um, what's the yeah. word? Just um, you know exclusion. wiping. You know, yeah, exclusion. Yeah, like wiping out. Just change with inclusion, not like wiping yeah. people out. Not exclusion. So. People are growing up with these, with these, with these. Um, do you know what I have to say? Remember when this guy? <laughs> yeah, okay. This guy did New Warriors recently. The new new warriors remember we were talking about that and he had that one guy who had internet gas and we had safe space and that oh, yeah. was Gosh, yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> yeah that was horrible that was horrible but i respect what he was what he did he came in with we already had the new warriors he's saying this is a new generation and he brought in new characters characters it yeah failed horribly <laughs> But at I least think, he did something I think they're still new. trying to I, I think failed. they're still trying to uh, release that as well actually oh yeah. lord but do you know what? No, do you know what? Release it. Release it because if they don't release that, then they're gonna turn the the new the, the original new warriors into. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. uh, new characters. I expect that this guy came up with new. I know I'm ranting on this. Karen <laughs> 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 Yes. We haven't had one for a little while. I do not. I do not. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm like a okay. ninja. I'm just picking my moments to swoop. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's, okay. Well, let's, now we're going. Let's we move going on next? to we'll the going. happy stuff for you. Then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I get no freaking tang around? You, <laughs> <laughs> um. So this guy I've never heard of before. I actually thought he was um something else, but uh, someone called Tofi in uh. Toph. 
And she's a girl. All oh, right. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah, he's trying to get fucked in the face. Though. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, they, right. they love. They love to. They love to wind each other up on this show. Go ahead. Go um, ahead. Toff so yes, Toff. In... I was like, what's he talking about? <laughs> That's what I was saying in the, in the messages as well. I was like, well, who the heck? What is this? Um, so this character, do you want to see? You go there. You go ahead. Because you, you know more. Her name okay. is Toff A. Fong. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is quite a few. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Go see. ahead. Okay. <clears throat> so it's Toff A. Fong <laughs> from Avatar, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. Ugh, she. Bender. Came in, she came into the show at season two as Aang's um, earthbending teacher. Mm-hmm. And she's also pr- most likely the most powerful earthbender it, there is in that world. She yes. creates metal bending. She can, she's yep. black and she can see with her feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd imagine when it gets to Korra, I'd like to think that she can see on sand. But they never yeah. told her. Yeah, but yeah. She is, she is getting her own... A new graphic novel starring her, her, and her, and I'm actually quite excited about that. Me too. I actually have about two or three. I wish I had them with me. Two or three of the um, graphic novels that take place after the original show, so the original mm-hmm. first three books, mm-hmm. and they're actually really good. They hold. They they the characters feel like the characters. The artwork is quite similar to um, the show. Yeah, to the show. Mm-hmm. And the creators, the original... Um, why is it so dark? Sorry. The original... Because <laughs> original, um, you're Batman. Show, they don't necessarily write the books. I, I'm not sure about this. I, I, Richard needs to tell me in a second because he's got the mm-hmm. notes. Mm-hmm. But they, they do heavily influence the graphic novels. Yeah. Even, even to the point when, when they did Korra, um, Legend of Korra, mm-hmm. a lot of what was taken from the graphic novels was put into Korra. So... If you're a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, you're a, you're a fan of Toph Bay Fong, I think yeah. this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to read this. Yes, I am too. I'm excited to uh, catch up. Yes. <laughs> as Rich as like, looks after his headphones and smashes them against the <laughs> <Yeah>. chair, yes. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm, I'm glad with this as well, with the comic, is that of Dark, Dark Horse comics are picking this up, or Dark Horse Enterprise as well. Yeah, thank you yeah they're, um, they're picking this up. And obviously, it's up in, it's ultimate continuation of the show. The series writer and producer Tim Hedrick, who wrote episodes such as The Deserter, City of Wars, and Secrets, and The Puppet Master, is also involved. So, we're going to have people from the show doing the comics. And then, I hope what I hope is that once obviously the comics are really successful, they're like, boom, we're going to do a tough so like bad. animated show because, like, so, like, obviously, I love the Avatar The Last Airbender, but some of the other characters were, like, really, really, really good. And I think Toph is one of those characters where she's just, like, she's so interesting and you just want to know more about, one, her backstory, two, about, you know, where she's going and where she's, you know, been or whatever. So, yeah, it'd be really, really good for yeah. this graphic novel. I'm very, very excited. Um, and I just love the name Toph. It's just, yay. <laughs> I want to read a little bit from, like... If I can find it, I just had it. The synopsis. The synopsis. Sorry, I, here we go, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Barfield. No. <laughs> so, between the events of Nickelodeon Avatar The Last Airbender and The Legend of Korra, it appeared that the practice of metal bending once thought impossible had become somewhat commonplace. In the world of the four nations, that is, that is in no small part thanks to Toph Bei Fong, who discovered metal bending. Now her story continues in the upcoming graphic novel, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Toph Bei Fong's Metal Bending Academy from Dark Horse Comics, written by Faith Erin Hicks and illustrated by Peter Wortman and Adela Mato... Blah, blah, blah. Mato. Adela. The book, yeah. takes place after... <laughs> the book takes place after the events of the original animated series and sees Toph running an academy, an academy and being bored by it. <laughs> That's typical <laughs> Toph as well. Yeah. love that. And being bored by it. <laughs> Things turn around when Sokka, Suki, and others visit. Dark Horse has stated that the upcoming graphic novel is the ultimate continuation of the show. Yay! Series writer and producer Tim Hedrick, who wrote episodes such as The Deserter, City Walls and Secrets, and Puppet Master. Rich, when you get to Puppet Master, that is okay. sick. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take your word for that. That is, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You won't take my word for it. You'll know it within your <laughs> <Okay>. soul. <laughs> no, it'll yeah. be really good. It's good. 
Mm. Sorry, last bit. Last uh-huh. bit, last bit, last bit. Tough was inch. Oh, no, you don't need to know that. So, yeah. Tough yeah. Oh, graphic novel. Yeah. Yeah. Get that shit. Yeah. We're excited here. We're excited here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Okay.